Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we are looking at some of the top Town Hall 11 attacks from the Premier versus Invite CWL All Star uh, Clan War that went on during the Spy Week. Um, I'm, I'm experimenting with some new microphone settings so you guys don't hear all my roommates and cluster mates, as they're called. Uh, in the background um, so I'm doing a lot of different settings so we'll see how it sounds hopefully uh, my voice still sounds normal and it cuts out a lot of the background noise that you would otherwise be hearing so we'll see how it sounds when I listen to it back um, but anyway like I said this video we're looking at some 11 v 11 attacks here um, starting with this one we're also going to take a look at a few dips just so you guys know what's going on the purpose of this video and a following Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 9 video from this war is going to be basically two purposes to show you guys some awesome attacks um, some different attacks but also to show you guys what's the best stuff uh, what's the most popular stuff just like my attack meta uh, videos tend to um, at each Town Hall level so this one here is your typical 11 v 11 three star composition. It is the um, the Mass La Lune with the uh, the clone spell right there, Warden's ability, perfect rage over those Inferno Towers. Could have frozen both of them if you wanted to. You can reach a freeze, I think, if both Infernos are touching the Town Hall, but elected not to. The Warden's ability is even better than a freeze, so no point. Uh, this base is completely destroyed. The Lava Hound does pop because I think something lures it, not sure what, but the Lava Hound did come out. Um, that's actually kind of weird, I don't know why it came out, I must have missed something. But uh, the Lava Hound comes out, the uh, minions deal with it, and this one is over. Nice attack to, uh, this is unpronounceable name from the Invite Clan. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering how the war went, you can see right here the uh, results, 140 to 132. A few people did not use either of their attacks, so we swagged a few attacks, um, but it would have been a lot closer if it was a 100 out of 100 for us, but not the most competitive war, kind of just for fun. This is the one other 11 v 11 three-star we're going to look at today. Of course, it's going to be that same composition that we know works against these Town Hall 11 bases, Oftentimes the symmetrical bases with the expos on ground and the air defenses nice and uh, central in those four corners of the base kind of. Um, one thing to, to point out is that as people are adjusting their bases to defend dragons, they're putting the air defenses deeper in the base. At one point they were farther out making a, or they were all on one side to make a, uh, an 11 v 11 three star more difficult but they moved uh, back to their normal locations more to try to defend dragons, and that's reopening possibilities for 11 v 11 three stars uh, that otherwise were more difficult um, with the air defenses being offset or in the corners. Uh, but right now in these bases, they often are central and tank and providing a lot of tanking on those wizard towers, archer towers, and oftentimes the expos aren't even in the equation because they're on ground only. So this was a very nice attack here. A great clone spell on top of the inferno to add some loons to, to, uh, to the mix there. And then everything moves through towards the top here. Eagle goes down. At this point, there's not a whole lot that can hurt the loons. That warden's ability um, saved it way towards the end. I think the... Um, it couldn't have been the skeleton spell that lured out the CC. It must have been a hero or something like a wall breaker. Uh, so the, the lava pups, I think, are going to pop the hound once again. But once again, not a big issue. Has plenty of troops to deal with it. And the balloons are kind of in a weird uh, marathon here between defenses. But eventually, they will get these last defenses taken out right there. The lava hound pops. We'll fast forward for sake of time because uh, this one is over. Loons take out the last few defenses here. A little bit close, actually, uh, but the Wizard Tower will go down, and that will do it. Nice three-star to Jethro. Not sure what clans these guys are from, uh, but it is. this is another invite clan. Let's take a look at two dip attacks that I think are good um, new, new type strategies, not the typical stuff uh, that you guys see all the time, not the miners. Um, we see miners and dragons being two of the most popular. We also see hogs um, being somewhat popular. This is the bowler miner combination, uh, whatever you want to call it. Something I haven't seen in like a long time, but has it gotten more popular, I think. 
um, just in recent times. Basically, it's like a mass combination of bowlers and miners. You have the jumps like you would for any kind of kill squad with bowlers, but you also have the heals for the miners. Uh, two jumps, two heals, two rages. <clears throat> Excuse me, all for these uh, troops. And it's basically a mass attack. You're dropping all this stuff at once almost. So there's the jumps, getting them down early because they last for so long. Miners on the sides to kind of clean up the sides of the base, and then the bowlers and heroes up the gut. Um, oftentimes the way this works is it looks like the attack's going to kind of peter out when the, the bowlers go down, but the miners are still up towards the end, which typically is going to be what, uh, what finishes off the base. Part of the uh, value of this attack is that you get the warden's ability if you do it right on almost all your troops. So incredible value from the Grand Warden. And he also gets that um, Life Aura, I think it's called, on both the Miners and the Bowlers. So nice split. The Miners um, at the bottom clearing out some trash right now. His troops kind of halted towards the back end of this base. There is no jump spell, but the Miners will continue on. He used all the spells early, which is what you want to do. Um, once you get to the back half of the base, especially when there's no Inferno Tower, spells aren't that necessary because the miners are tanky. Um, they're going to not get taken out that easily. Plus, if you have the Queen's ability and some Golemid, uh, some Golemites still tanking, you can get the job done. So nice attack here to N uh, at sign H exclamation point D, uh, whatever that means. Um, nice, nice hit. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more dip attack that... Um, was something a little bit different that I have uh, been seeing just recently, the last week or so. I think I've seen a few YouTube videos on this, and I think I've seen a few attacks using this, um, but not a few weeks ago, I almost never saw this. Maybe I'm just late to the party. Maybe people have been using this for longer, but it is the Mass Baby Dragon attack at Town Hall 11. It's kind of a mixture. It's kind of like Baby Dragloon, um, you can almost call it, and it has Lava Hounds, so that's a long kind of... Uh, abbreviated name you can come up for, but it is the um, the baby dragon loon lava hound. Typically, you bring two hounds, one in the CC, one uh, of your own, then about 15 or so baby dragons, and the rest loons. Uh, I've seen two clone spells, but one clone spell is typically enough. You want to clone those loons is the idea, um, just as you do in a dragon attack. So it's very similar to a dragon attack using the heroes to funnel as you would. Um, just a different kind of uh, force moving through. Instead of dragons, it's baby dragons, which you don't think of as being as good because they don't get that that uh, that times two damage boost when they're alone. But even still, they're tanky, those level five baby dragons. And once they do start to run out and one of them is alone, it automatically gets that times two uh, whatever you call it, the baby boost or whatever, I don't know what you call it, it automatically gets that. So if the baby dragons start to go down, um, they get even more powerful, which is part of the part of the strength of this attack. But look at how many baby dragons he has left up. Um, they're faster than dragons, and I think they attack quicker than dragons. So there's, they're just a little bit more efficient, and I think a better option often at Town Hall 11. Um, but you're going to have to experiment in friendly challenges and stuff to see which is better because um, they're a very, very similar thing to dragons. Pretty much the only difference is instead of like seven dragons or eight dragons, you have 15 baby dragons. Besides that, almost the exact same attack. So maybe go ahead and experiment with that. But this will do it for the Town Hall 11s um, from this war. Just some highlights from 11v11 and 11v10. Um, stay tuned for the 10v10 and then the 9v9 attacks from this war gonna make a video on each of those so that will be coming out very soon but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bisectatron out